There's so many different theme parks for all ages here in the UK, but there's one park you need to visit in 2023, and that is Drayton Manor. Drayton Manor is located in Staffordshire and first opened in 1950, so a very long time, that's five years before the original Disneyland opened. But it's only in recent years since being purchased by the Looping Group that this park has really stepped up its game. It is now in my opinion one of the top contenders with the other parks in the UK and definitely one of the best theme parks for families. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why a trip to Drayton Manor is a must in 2023. But first, if you do enjoy watching this video, then please hit that like button to let me know. And if you are new around here, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing because we make plenty of theme park and adventure videos here which you don't want to miss. Being a theme park, I guess the best thing to start with is the rides. And Drayton Manor have a wide variety of different rides and attractions that appeal to all guests. We'll touch on the family friendly areas and rides later on, but first let's look at the more thrilling rides and attractions. Drayton Manor might not have the most intense coasters in the UK, but they are very unique. Shockwave is the only stand up roller coaster in the UK, and it's the only coaster in the world to feature a zero G roll. If you've never been on a stand up roller coaster before, it's very different, a very weird feeling. But that's what makes it so great, and Shockwave is a brilliant coaster. Then you have Stormforce 10. Now this is a boat ride, and not only does it have a pretty lengthy ride time, which makes it worth queuing for, it's also one of the wettest water rides in the UK. There's some strong contenders up there, such as Tidal Wave at Fort Park, but Stormforce 10 is an absolute soaker. Not only that, it features a backwards drop too, which is awesome, and it also gets you very wet as well. It's literally impossible to come off this ride dry, so if you love water rides then you will love Stormforce 10. There's also Accelerator, which is a boomerang coaster. This isn't the most intense, but it's still an enjoyable ride, and has some great theming in the queue line. Then you have rides such as The Haunting, which is a Vacoma Madhouse, similar to Hexatolton Towers if you've ever experienced that ride. The Haunting has a brilliant story, and I would highly recommend checking it out. One of the most thrilling rides at Drayton Manor is called Maelstrom, which is a gyro swing which I am personally terrified of so you will not see me on this thing. However, if you are into that kind of thing, then Maelstrom will be perfect. There's also Sheriff Showdown, The Rapids, The Bounty Pirate Ship, plenty of fun family rides and attractions to experience, so even though they might not be the most thrilling rides, apart from Maelstrom and Shockwave, the ride offering at Drayton Manor is fantastic, and I'm sure with the way the park is going, there will be plenty more to come over the next few years. In recent years, Drayton Manor have started introducing new events, and this year is no different. So far this year, they've announced seven events, and there's still more to come. One event which is currently running whilst recording this video is Dinosaur Breakout. At this event you come face to face with some of Europe's largest dinos. Did you visit during this event? If so, let me know what you thought down in the comments below, because it looked really fun. If you missed out on all the dinosaur fun, then don't worry, because between the 10th and the 31st of March on select days, the raptors are on the loose at March of the Dinosaurs. I think this event is pretty similar to the Dinosaur Breakout, however it appears to be more of a focus on the raptors, uh, as well as this was also a raptor live show. From the 1st to the 30th of April, Thomasland will be celebrating its 15th anniversary. This is one of the best themed areas for kids in the UK for sure, so it's only right that it's celebrated for its 15th birthday. At this event there will be balcony shows, an easter egg hunt, street entertainment, party games, and of course plenty of decorations. So if you're looking at visiting Thomasland this year, April is the time to visit. From the 5th to the 8th of May, there will be a coronation street party which will celebrate the king's coronation. This will include fireworks, late night riding, DJs, a live band, and street party entertainment throughout the day so plenty of reasons to visit during this event. On the 27th of May to the 4th of June there will be a Fiestival event. This to me sounds like a Mardi Gras carnival style event, so expect a lot of street performers and plenty of entertainment. 
And then during the summer months on the 1st of July till the end of August, there will be summer nights. Here you will find DJs, live entertainment and late night riding. And from the 15th of September to the 1st of October, there will be Vikings Festival. This sounds similar to summer nights, but the entertainment will be Viking related. There will be fire eaters and jugglers, Viking drummers, and of course, late night rides on the rides in the Vikings area. So these are the events announced so far at Drayton Manor this year. It's looking like there will be more added throughout the year. Expect another Halloween event and a Christmas event. Hopefully there will be another fireworks event too. If you visit Drayton Manor this year, then it's more than likely that you're going to be visiting during one of these events as they cover the whole year. It also means that if you want to visit more than once this year, then the next time you visit, there'll be something new to experience, giving you plenty of reasons to visit the park again and again in 2023. So I mentioned earlier about the rides at the park. There are plenty across Drayton Manor. What makes Drayton Manor great is that there are rides for all ages. I mentioned the thrill rides and attractions, but there's also rides for younger guests too. There's the fantastic Thomas Land, which features over 25 attractions. This area is perfect if you're visiting with kids. There's rides such as Toby's Tram Express, Winston's Whistle Stop Tours, Harold's Helicopter Tours, Troublesome Trucks Runaway Coaster, that's just to name a few. You can also meet Thomas at Thomas Land, and there's also a Thomas Museum where you can learn of the history and also check out a huge model railway which was used in the show. It's fantastic and definitely worth checking out if you're heading to Drayton Manor this year. Along with Thomas Land, there's also the new Vikings area. This is home to four rides which are all brilliant. There's four which is a Zamperla disco. I love these flat rides. Four is also themed really well too, with a giant viking helmet in the middle. You'll also find Loki, one of the best looking flat rides that you'll ever come across. This is the UK's first Sampurla Nebulas ride, so a very unique experience which you won't find anywhere else in the UK. There's also Jormungandr and Sletnir, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Two other rides which fit the area and theme perfectly. Drayton Manor is such a great family park, no matter what age you are, there will be something for you, giving you another reason to visit the park this year. Drayton Manor isn't just a theme park, it's also a zoo. So after you visited Thomas, had a ride on Shockwave and been soaked by Stormforce 10, you can take a relaxing walk around the zoo and meet the animals. There's plenty of animals at this zoo, such as tigers, monkeys, marmosets and snakes, all of which you can visit without an additional cost. They also offer additional experiences where you can get up close with the meerkats, tortoises, monkeys and carnivores. These experiences do come at an additional price. For the carnivore experience it's £70 per person, however this does include your entry into the park, so that's not bad at all. The carnivore experience lasts around 30 minutes, so it still gives you plenty of time for all the other activities at the park. The zoo also features a dinosaur trail. Unfortunately, this doesn't feature real dinosaurs, however it does include huge models of dinosaurs where you can learn all about them. The dinosaur trail isn't all that big, however it's still a great addition to the zoo. Finally, let's talk about the new developments coming to the park, which is really exciting for the park's future. Last year we saw Apocalypse close at Drayton Manor. This was a huge 177 foot drop tower, which was one of the scariest rides in the UK for sure. I was terrified of it. Unfortunately, it has now closed, but it's looking likely that in that empty area where Apocalypse was, something even better will be taking its place. It's pretty much been confirmed that a new roller coaster will be taking over that area, with Drayton Manor saying that in 2024, there will be a new family thrill coaster coming. That is an important message because we will have some new stuff in 2023, but it won't be on that scale. This is going to be one of the best coasters in the UK in my opinion. I think it's important to say that we'll be doing family thrill and not just kid rides. We have already broken ground, part of that was removing Apocalypse to pave the way. This is very exciting, I have high hopes for this new roller coaster. There's no news on what kind of coaster this could be but if the hopes are for it to be open in 2024, then it's likely that we'll hear more news soon. 
since being taken over by the Looping Group, the park has received so much more love. The ride buildings have been refurbished, look so much more fresh. The rides are increasing and getting better and better, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this park this year, next year, and all the years to follow. So these are just some of the reasons that you need to visit Drayton Manor this year. Are you planning on visiting the park in 2023? Let me know down in the comments below. If you want to check out my vlog from Drayton Manor last year where I overcame my fear of apocalypse before it closed, then click this video right here. Or if you want to find out about some more family theme parks and attractions in the UK, then maybe consider checking this one out too. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.